One of the common challenges in practice is identifying obstruction. After observing that the dilated bowel is small bowel, how can one say that the air fluid levels is differential or not? Today, let us finally understand the radiologic pathologic correlate of air fluid levels. Imagine a balloon to represent the small bowels. Now let us place this balloon in a small box. This would represent the small bowels confined in the abdomen. Even if the bowels are looped and stacked on itself, as long as there is peristalsis and no obstruction, the bowels will not be dilated. The normal diameter of the small bowel is 3 cm or less. You can see in this drawing that they are air fluid levels. Here and here. The air fluid levels are normal as long as they are few and they are not in dilated or prominent caliber small bowels. Now in this example, the red lesion represents obstruction in the distal end. Since the bowel will try and try to do peristalsis, one can imagine that pumping a tube here against a complete obstruction distally here will cause the lumen to progressively dilate and the internal pressures to increase. Therefore, the first sign to look for small bowel obstruction is a small bowel more than 3 cm. Next, if the intestine is stretched like this, the body thinks it needs to secrete more fluid into the lumen. However, due to the increased luminal pressure, there will be poor absorption across the capillaries. The end product here is the proximal bowel progressively dilating and the lumen increasing in its volume of secretions. In this picture, you can see the amount of fluid is increasing and creating these air fluid levels. Here, 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 and here. Now in this picture, how many loops of bowels can we identify? So what is the definition of a single loop? A single loop is a single U-shaped tube of air or an inverted U-shaped -shape, U tube of air. So this is one loop and this is a second loop. It is important to identify a single loop because we are going to measure the differences in their height. So if we consider Loop here to here. This is air fluid level 1, air fluid level 2, and the difference between the height of these two air fluid levels will be considered. Now, the take home point here is that air fluid levels are differential because of this triad continued secretion lack of absorption, and peristalsis but with lack of transit. We need to prove the proximity of the air fluid levels. That's why we need to compare the air fluid levels in a single loop. If the differential height is 20 millimeters or more, there is 88% positive predictive value for mechanical obstruction, meaning the greater the height, the greater the positive predictive value. Okay, so let's go back to our example. What makes a single loop? A single loop means a single inverted U. Now I outlined here three loops, each single loop comprising a inverted U. So this is loop one, this is sorry, this is loop two, and this is loop number three. Now why do we look for differential air fluid levels in a single loop? The answer is because one needs to show the triad of continued secretion, lack of absorption, and peristalsis but lack of transit as a radiographic correlate for mechanical obstruction. So to call differential air fluid levels, we first need to find a single loop of power. So let's consider loop number one here. Next, we measure the air fluid on each end. So we get 2.5 and 3.2 cm here. The next step is to measure the height difference. So the height difference is 2. So we've fulfilled criteria 1, 2, and 3. Therefore, we can now say that differential air fluid levels is present in this radiograph. Now, is air fluid 
level seen only in mechanical obstruction? The answer is no. That's why in our reports, there is always need for clinical correlation because differential air fluid levels is not only seen in small bowel obstruction, whether it's complete or incomplete. It can also be seen in adynamic illness. Therefore, serial radiographs plus correlation with bowel sounds is superior compared to a single radiograph. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching.